friends i am ankit and welcome to my channel i am here with my daily predictions and analysis for dow jones and nasdaq both trading bullish right now and specifically nasdaq trading with a close to 0.6% rise now what is going to happen today which position we should take in order to make profit we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators we will try to decide the strategy for the day first we will look into nasdaq 100 followed with dow jones and at the end of every analysis i'll give you the trading levels and strategy so do watch till the end do listen to it carefully and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon the let's start the day with nasdaq 100 first also the next update on us 100 will be up just before the us cash session so do watch that also now look at the hourly charts it is giving a breakout here it was trading consolidating here the support here now at around 12 0 three zero levels and if it breaks below twelve zero three zero only i'll recommend you to go short see now it is giving you higher lows and it is trying to trade bullish but the resistance at twelve zero six zero is strong and beyond that we as i told in my weekly analysis twelve one hundred twelve one fifty levels should provide a resistance till the time it is below twelve one fifty and twelve two hundred we can expect it to drop again for this week directional movement is extremely bullish the stochastic is overbought the MACD is wide divergent however it is trying to narrow the uh, bullishness and it is trying to converge a bit on the early charts the rsi is overbought here on the early charts and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too it is trying to give you a breakout here a little breakout on the upside with the stop loss at 12030 it is trying to rise and till the time it trades above 12030 i'll not recommend you to now go long and below 12030 we can again expect it to drop a bit and then 12000 levels should provide a support below that we may see it falling else till the time it trades above 12030 we can expect it to rise a bit however it is little bit overbought the directional movement is bullish here the stochastic is overbought on the two hour chart the macd is wide divergent and bullish here the rsi is entering into overbought levels again on the two hour charts and on the three hour charts if you look at on the three hour charts too it is trying to give you a breakout and see this is trying to sustain the bullishness here i will be watchful of 12060 and after that we can hit it can hit 12100 12150 which is the next resistance zone and from there a possible drop can be expected be watchful of 12000 levels today below 12000 definitely we can see a further fall directional movement is bullish on the three hour charts if you look at the stochastic this is overbought on the three hour chart the macd is wide divergent bullish on the three hour charts rsi is near to overbought levels and if you look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts too similarly see after this low, uh, little bit of consolidation it is again trying to rise only short entry i will recommend is below 12 1030 levels below that yes you can expect it to drop but however till the time it trades about 12030 i will not expect it to drop probably 1260 and uh, 12100 should provide a little resistance on the upside for it to trade below 121 beyond 12100 12150 levels are the next target and beyond that yes it can fly high towards 12300 400 levels directional movement is bullish stochastic is overbought see this is extremely overbought on multiple indicators directional movement is bullish oh sorry macd is bullish and the rsi is near to top on the four hour charts and if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts it is started to take a shape see it has already seen lower lows it is seen the see trying to see the higher highs there the pivot here at 12 0 3 0 and with that as pivot plus minus 30 it is trying to trade and hence 12 0 6 0 appears to be a good resistance beyond that yes we may see it hitting 12 100 12 150 zone and on the downside we can expect 12 0 3 0 to provide a support below that we can see 12,000 to provide a support and below that this could be so below 12,000 there could be a stronger fall on the downside else see the support there on the upside uh, as we have already seen see it is giving you lower highs and hence we can find out 12100 12150 levels to provide a little resistance on the upside and if it breaks below beyond 12150 there could be a stronger rise for 12300 levels the directional movement is bearish the stochastic is overbought the macd is bullish the rsi is trading flat here on the daily charts on the weekly charts too it is trying to break past by but i will be watchful of the highs there and hence 12 100 150 zones should provide a larger resistance see right now it is trying to trade with the pivot at 12 0 3 0 plus minus 30 it is trying to trade if it trades about 12 0 6 0 go long and beyond 12 0 6 0 one can expect it to rise for 12 100 12 150 and this zone should provide a stronger resistance and then probably it may try to drop from there there is a higher possibility 
and yes if you see it trading below 12000 nothing like that it is going to drop more from there so take your positions accordingly below 12000 my next target is 11970 11900 11840 and 11800 below 11800 there could be sharper fall till towards 11650 levels take your positions accordingly take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at dow see us 30 giving it a breakout it was trading consolidating in this zone and now it is trying to give you a breakout yes you can go short at 31 330 levels below 31 330 you can expect it to drop more 31 300 the next support zone and below that you can expect it to drop till towards 31 200 31 100 see 31 200 the first resistance zone and below that we may see it hitting below 31000 levels we may see it dropping more directional movement is bullish here on the early charts the stochastic is overbought on the early charts the macd is trying to converge right now it is bullish rsi is overbought on the early charts and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too it is trying to take a shape it is trying to decide for a bullish momentum be watchful of 31330 and 31320 levels below that yes you can go short for 31300 and 31280 levels else it may give you half the size see 260 to 320 almost 60 70 points and now we can again expect it to give you uh, another 600 uh, 60 70 points and hence 31 400 levels should provide a little resistance 31 400 420 i'll be watchful of do not remain short till it's below uh, 31 420 so yes do not stay long till it's below 31 420 if if it breaks past 31 420 we can expect it to possibly rise more and then 31600 31800 32000 levels cannot be denied directional movement is bullish here on the two hour charts the stochastic is overbought the macd is wide divergent bullish rsi is near to overbought levels and if you look at the three hour charts it is also trying to give you a breakout on the three hour charts here and uh, yes with the support at 31320 and 31300 it is trying to rise be watchful of 31420 levels any move beyond 31420 go long stay long for the rest of the week directional movement is bullish the stochastic is overbought the macd is wide divergent and bullish rsi is near to top and if you look at the four hour charts see on the four hour charts too it is trying to give you a breakout here and the stop loss at 31320 below that yes you can expect it to drop again so till the time it trades above 31320 and yes in between 31420 it may try to achieve but beyond 31420 do not stay short one can stay long above 31420 for the rest of the week and we can expect a stronger rise for 31600 800 levels directional movement is bullish stochastic is overbought macd is wide divergent and bullish here and rsi is near to overbought see the indicators here are slightly overbought and hence one has to be cautious with the longs out there probably it can rise and then drop a bit see on the upside if it is trying to trade with this pivot the highs at around 31 400 31 380 cannot be denied and from there we'll see how it behaves probably any drop below 31 280 levels should be a good level to go short and then one can expect it to retrace more on the downside my target is going to be 31 thousand 39 50 levels it may try to achieve these levels before it looks over to any further rise directional movement is bearish stochastic is overbought the macd is still bullish the rsi trading flat and in a comfortable zone so yes go long above 31 420 and beyond that one can expect 31 uh, 500 31 620 and then beyond the 31 800 levels 32000 levels for the rest of the week we can remain bullish on dow jones and yes if it trades below 31 300 go short there and 31 240 31 200 and then 31 100 31 0, 5, 0 level should provide support below 31 0, 5, 0. next target is 39 50 which is a stronger support zone below that we may see it falling till towards 3800 700 levels so take your positions accordingly take your trades accordingly and yes do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon thank you very much and yes you can join my mentorship batch also the next batch is starting soon the dates will be announced in my telegram channel free telegram channel to reach join that also and yes this is a 15 day session 90 minutes daily and definitely the uh, methodologies provided in taught will help you become a profitable and proficient trader reach out to me for more details thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you